Welcome back to Tim and Sid. Apparently a rash Danny is setting up a camera in front of the CAA offices whose parking lot he was kicked out of. We'll have the latest on the We John have Tavares. all angles covered, kids, <laughs> yes, of the John Tavares meetings. We are trying to cover all <laughs> angles. We'll talk to Rash, kind of tongue-in-cheek about what's going on in Los Angeles with John, John Tavares. A uh, five-player deal over the weekend between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Calgary Flames. One of the newest members of the Calgary Flames, Noah Hannafin, is joining us on the line. Noah, welcome to Tim and Sid. Welcome to Canada. How you doing, man? Hey, how's it going, guys? Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. Uh, a lot of people in Calgary excited. And, uh, Noah, I'm just looking at the Calgary Stampede schedule here. <laughs> you got traded at a good time, young man. Stampede starts soon. You're going to check out some Stampede? I don't know. I, I, I actually uh, talked to Gaudreau a bit and Kachuk about it because they are saying it's uh, kind of the place to be in the first weeks of July. So, um, we'll see. I got to... Uh, talk to them and figure it out because I'll probably go up to Calgary at some point soon just to, to check it out and um, just get a, a feel for the area and maybe I'll go out there and stampede we'll see. <laughs> as, as a guy who has missed stampede by a couple days about 15 times in my life I've heard I've heard that it's a pretty good time. Heard, yes. Hey listen another thing I heard was that you were watching Jurassic World when you got the call. One is that true and two what part of the movie did you get pulled out in? Yeah, I uh, I actually went. My, I have a younger brother and sister, and they want to see the movie. So, uh, me, my dad, my brother and sister, we went to the uh, to the movie. And uh, about five minutes, then I got a call from my agent, and uh, I kind of suspect something may have happened. And, and that's when I found out. You know, that's when I found out I was going to go in Calgary, and uh, I missed most of the movie, but uh, I was uh, pretty happy with the news. So, um, right. yeah, it was uh, it was pretty surprising, but um, not definitely exciting. I, I, I don't want to spoil the rest of the movie. You should go back. There are dinosaurs in it. <laughs> yes, there that's, are. That's, yeah. that's the most I'll tell you. I think no, you knew that. No spoilers, though. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned you mentioned uh, when you saw the call from your agent, Noah, in the theater, you knew. I have a feeling most of you guys from Carolina over the last couple of months have been kind of looking at your phones a lot. Like, were you expecting something around the draft, maybe? Because your name's kind of been out there. And to be fair, a lot of the guys on the roster have been out there, too. Yeah, um, no, for sure. You know, I, I had a su suspicion something could be happening, and you know, just going back and forth with my agent, um, just talking to him. You know, he told me that uh, you know, teams are talking, and just to be by my phone that something could happen around the draft. And um, and yeah, I mean, I, I didn't know you know exactly when it was going to happen. You know, it was the day after the draft. I didn't know if uh, you know something would change there, but um, you know, it ended up going through with Calgary. And uh, like I said, I couldn't be more happy about uh, you know where I'm going to be playing hockey. Is it nice to be joining a new team but keeping the same coach? Yeah, it is. No, for sure. And I think uh, I think uh, Calgary has a, a great coach on their hands right now. You know, Bill's a super smart guy, very intelligent, um, easy to talk to, and you know, he's uh, he's very demanding of his players. He expects success, and you know, I think that's something that you want in a coach. So I think uh, it's going to be a great recipe for for success with the with the players and the team and him as the coach. No, you got some Calgary. F fans, I'm sure, listening and watching this interview, if you could speak to them directly, what kind of a player should they expect from Noah Hannafin? Yeah, I mean, I would say, uh, you know, I'm more of an offensive guy. I'm going to jump into the play and, and use my skiing ability to uh, to create offense. You know, that's something uh, that's always been a part of my game. And, um, you know, over the past few years, you know, just trying to develop my defensive game and, you know, being tougher in the corners and, and harder to play against. And, you know, because at the end of the day, I want to be a, uh, an all-around, you know, good defenseman. So, um, that's, uh, that's probably you know, the type of player they're going to be getting. There's a few Americans on this team. You played with Matthew Kachuk before. I know you played a little bit with Johnny Goudreau on the national team. Have you talked to either one of those guys about your, what you're walking into in Calgary? Uh, yeah, you know, a little bit. You know, I talked to, to Matthew uh, a bit yesterday, and he was telling me how much he loves the city and um, you know, how passionate the fans are and you know, how fun it is to play, uh, play in that rink every night. And um, He loves it. And, and Johnny said the same thing. You know, both of them are so happy with playing there, and um, they love the atmosphere. So I'm uh, very excited to, to join them and and uh, experience uh, playing in Calgary. Does it appeal to you to play in a market where hockey is the unquestioned number one sport? Yeah, no, for sure. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be great. Um, I think, uh, like they said, you know, Calgary is just a hockey town, and and that's kind of all they have there. You know, I'm from Boston. You know, we got a bunch of sports. Yeah, you, know, you know, the Red Sox, Patriots, so and so, but. In Calgary, it's just the Flames, it's hockey, so something I'm super excited to be a part of. Uh, last one for you before we let you go. 
What do people in Calgary need to know about the guy coming with you, Elias Lindholm? What, yeah. what are they going to see from him that you've seen while playing with him on the ice? Yeah, I mean, uh, Elias is a, he's, you know, he's a very smart player, um, very responsible defensively. Um, you know, being a team man myself, I love being on the ice with him. He's, he's super easy to play with. He talks, communicates really well, and he's very versatile. He can play in all situations, PK, power play, wing, center. You know, he, can, uh, he can be moved around a lot, and uh, he's a great teammate. He's a great kid, so they got a, uh, they got a great player coming into Calgary. Nice. Well, Noah, welcome to Canada, man. Yeah. We've been uh, admiring us from I really afar. Appreciate it. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't watch 82 Canes games a year, <laughs> but I admire the yeah. way you play the game. And when I've seen you play, a lot of Calgary hockey fans really excited, man. Welcome to Canada. Enjoy Stampede responsibly. Yeah, if you go. And, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. All right, there is Noah Hanovan, the newest member of the Calgary Flames, acquired in a blockbuster five-player deal between the Flames and the Canes.